him or buttons about him or shirts about him today. Um, there are many political prisoners in this country, that is people who are imprisoned simply because of their political beliefs. Their numbers include Leonard, Oscar, Lopez Rivera, Mumia Abu Jamal, and many more. Every year since he was arrested back in 1976, we have remembered Leonard at National Day of Mourning, and it's one of the most important things that we do here. And he knows, he's sitting in a prison in Florida, but he knows and feels that we're here for him and that we're speaking about him and that someone will be reading his words to the crowd so that his voice will be heard, so that he will not be completely silenced behind the prison walls. For those of you who may not know about him, in 1977 he was wrongfully convicted of the murders of two FBI agents on the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. The government violated his constitutional rights, coerced witnesses, tampered with evidence, and in many other ways made sure that he was framed up and put in prison and he had kept him there for almost 40 years now. Even the federal prosecutor admitted that no one knows who fired the fatal shots. Since the courts for decades have refused to overturn Leonard's conviction, his defense committee is seeking clemency from President Obama before he leaves office. Leonard is also an artist, an internationally known human rights activist, and a defender of indigenous peoples and prisoners. He's in declining health as you'll hear. His defense committee asks that everyone please donate to the blanket dance today. People will be going through the crowd with a shawl. That's our blanket dance. Please be as generous as you can so that they can keep going and especially so that they can pay Leonard's lawyers. We are so honored today to have a message directly from Leonard, which will be read by another elder, Bird Waters.